the LifeSnap video for the second video in our LifeSnap series for highly sensitive people and empaths. This one is titled Creating a Relationship with Your Intuition. I'm Lori Murray. When we're highly sensitive or empathic, we tend to feel a lot of things all the time and our intuition can get muddled up in the midst of all the things that we're feeling from external and internal sources. So building a relationship with our intuition is vital. I struggled with this for a long time and sometimes I still have a moment or two when things like fear or distrust get in the way of my intuition. But the life snaps for this week are part of my own practice and they're designed to help you connect with your intuition in a way that builds the foundation that you need. Having a solid relationship with our intuition, being able to hear and identify it, requires that you trust yourself and that you understand the difference between how distrust, fear, and true intuition feel differently in your body. That way you know whether you're hearing your intuition or something else. The more you focus on your intuition and place your awareness on it and on building that relationship, the more it will respond. I mean, this isn't like a boom, there's your intuition kind of thing. <laughs> it's a process and the daily and weekly snaps are practices that you can use to move forward steadily and effectively and just keep going forward. In the weekly snaps videos, I mentioned a tapping exercise for the weekly life snap. And if you're here to do that, I'm going to put it at the end of this video so that you can follow along with me. Now, let me give you a little more detail about the daily life snaps for the week. The day one life snap is called open and shut because you're basically learning to focus on what your intuition feels like in your body. And usually there's a feeling of openness or expansion when you tell yourself the truth and a feeling of shutting down when you tell yourself a lie, even if you don't know you're telling yourself a lie. Um, the shifts in your energy from open to closed and back can be very subtle, which is why this exercise is a great learning tool. You're also putting that awareness on your intuition. You're waking it up a little bit if it needs it. You're starting that conversation and setting a foundation for that relationship. And in that relationship, the way your body feels, uh, the way your body feels energy is kind of like the words in a conversation. Now I'll be making live snaps videos about ways to connect with your body. So look for those in the future, but this exercise is a really good uh, start for this process. You might be a little surprised after start, you start practicing open and shut because you may suddenly become more aware of when other people are lying or telling the truth. I remember one day talking to my boss at work and he was telling me a story about a trip that he took. It was just a very benign story, but I realized I could almost, I could read his story like I read a piece of music. I could suddenly tell when he was telling the truth and when he went into exaggeration and when he came back out of it and when he wasn't telling the truth. It was startling to me, and I'm not always that on with my intuition, but it was a direct result of doing this exercise. So the life snap for day two is about head and heart. And I'll be honest with you, although I've learned to feel the difference between my analytical mind and my intuition, most of the time I still falter uh, when fear of doubt blocks my, in, fear or doubt blocks my intuition but it's really important to know what your blocks are and to continue that process of building the relationship with your intuition. And this life snap will do that. As I said, my own blocks seem to take the form of fear or doubting myself, but blocks can also be things like I'm not good enough. I'm mediocre. This is stupid or a number of other things. So pay close attention to the stories you tell yourself and the feelings you feel when you're connected directly to your intuition. Jot those down so you can remember them. Day three is the affirmation, I trust myself and my intuition. Now, I am honestly not always a fan of affirmations, mostly because we're taught to think an affirmation. And the first thing that happens is that every thought that is opposed to that affirmation comes rearing its ugly head. And most people don't know what to do with that. Um... That's why before you start saying your affirmation, it's important to remember those times that intuition helped you in big ways or even small, even tiny ways. This is like a buffer. You're building a buffer against those resistant thoughts. And when you really focus on how your intuition has helped you, 
when you listen to it in the past and you acted on it, you're more able to step into the feeling of trusting your intuition and yourself. Affirmations do have their place, but when you put a high resonating feeling like trust or gratitude in there with your affirmation and really let yourself feel it, it'll have a much higher effect than just saying the affirmation by itself. That said, we all have to start somewhere, so if you can't generate a resonant feeling to go with your affirmation, just repeat the words as often as you can throughout your day. The life snap for day four is a question, and I love a good question. I always say that asking a good question is like breaking open stagnant energy and letting the light in. Just asking one effective question in any situation can turn the tide of a swell of old beliefs and feelings that don't want to let go. In this case, the question is, what do I feel around other people? And it's not about what you're feeling emotionally. It's more about how you're feeling energetically. And this life snap question is specifically geared to help you recognize that relationship between external sources like people and places and events and your internal energy and intuition. You're putting focus on it. You're giving it awareness. So when you ask yourself this question, let your physical body and your energetic body answer it for you. So day five is a repeat of a life snap that we did in the video 101. And the life snap is called Sticky Stuff. I talked in more detail about sticky stuff in the bonus video for the Life Snaps 101, which is the protection and grounding video. So I'm not going to go into it again. I'll just say that this exercise is very effective. I use it for feelings of anxiety or if I start to feel scattered or ungrounded or if I feel a lot of energy stuff coming at me. So I hope you're having some great experiences with doing this and I would love to hear your feedback. Now, before we get to the weekly life snap, which is that quick tapping exercise, I'd like to take a moment to remind you that you can find more information about the Wild Crafted Life at thewildcraftedlife.com. And if you check out the resources page and the life snaps page, you'll find other videos and links to recommended books and other media. And there's also a link to my podcast, The Wildcast with Lori Murray, where I cover many of these topics in weekly episodes. Since I've geared these first life snap topics to highly sensitive people and empaths, even though they're for everyone, I would also like to recommend a book. Um, Elaine Aron, A-R-O-N, uh, she wrote a book called The Highly Sensitive Person, and she's also written several other books about highly sensitive people or HSPs. Um, it's been really instrumental to me and to a lot of other people in helping us identify our sensitivity and how it works in our lives how it affects us physically and how it interacts with our physical body um, and how it affects us energetically. So if you have any questions or comments, feedback, or an idea for a, an upcoming Life Snaps topic, please send me an email at lori at thewildcraftedlife.com. I really hope you're having a wonderful week. And I hope you're looking forward to the next Life Snaps video, which will be all about embracing your sensitivity. This is an important one, so don't skip it, even if you're mad or frustrated by your own sensitivity and how it affects you, because a new perspective can be a game changer. So stay tuned for that. Now, if you want to do the weekly uh, Life Snap tapping exercise, I'm going to lead you through it. You can do this one of two ways. You can do really short uh, tapping sessions, one or two rounds in the car, in the bathroom, or just whenever you can get a moment to yourself. Um, or you can take 5, 10, or 15 minutes and do numerous rounds. Um, you can make it work for you, even though, even if you just get one round of tapping in this week, that's better than none. So here we go. Just follow along with me and say what I say out loud. And after this short example, um, I'm going to suggest a couple of additional statements that you can tap on if you, if you want to. So here's the first one. Um, we're going to start on this karate chop point right here. Even though I doubt my intuition, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Just repeat after me. Even though I doubt my intuition, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. 
even though I doubt my intuition. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Now, over the eyebrows, this doubt side of the eye, sometimes I doubt my intuition. Under the eye, Doubting my intuition. Under the nose, this doubt. In the chin, this doubt. On the under the collarbone, sometimes I doubt my intuition. Under the arm, this doubt. Top of the head. This doubt. Let me go ahead and do another round. Sometimes I doubt my intuition. Sometimes I have this doubt. Sometimes I doubt myself. This doubt of myself. This doubt in my intuition. This doubt. This doubt. This doubt. Deep breath. And that is all there is to that. So, um, I'm going to give you a couple more statements. I'm going to do one round of each of these additional two statements, just in case you want to go a little bit deeper. And of course, tap on whatever comes up. Tap on whatever you want to, whatever you feel. Um, so the second one is, even though I don't always hear my intuition, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I'm not going to do, well, well, we'll do one. We'll do one of these on the karate chop. Even though I don't always hear my intuition, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. So normally we would do that three times if we're setting up something new. Hearing my intuition I don't always hear my intuition. Even though I don't always hear my intuition. Hearing my intuition. Hearing my intuition over the noise of the world. Hearing my intuition over the noise of my mind. Hearing my intuition over the noise of my emotions. Hearing my intuition. So the third one, and of course you can do as many rounds on that one as you want to. The third one is even though, and this is going to be based on an emotion, uh, gets in the way of me hearing my intuition. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. But we're tapping on the emotion itself. So I'm going to use the emotion of fear because that is the thing that tends to block me the most. And uh, I hear from, from a lot of people that that is actually what blocks their intuition the most. So we're going to use the emotion fear, but you can put in whatever emotion you want to. And you can even tap on several different emotions uh, in little different tapping statements. So... Even though fear gets in the way of me hearing my intuition, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. This fear, side of the eye, this fear, this fear that gets in the way. This fear that gets in the way. This fear. This fear. This fear. This fear. Deep breath. Um, so that's it for the bonus video this week. And remember to go to the wildcraftedlife.com 
to uh, download your snapshots, uh, view other videos, check out resources and coaching packages. Um, I also, on the resources page, do have a video about uh, an introduction to tapping video if you want a little more information. Um, and please like and subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any future videos. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. And until then, I hope you have a wild and magical life.